guys what's up back at again with another video it's your girl money locks um if you haven't subscribed to my channel don't forget to subscribe press the subscribe button also the like and share button i would love for you if you haven't joined the family please do join the family now let's get into the video so um today i had a guest speaker in my class and she has sister locks all the way down her hips and I was in awe about the beauty of her locks along with the other two people that came with her and you know um class go on and as it ends I asked her a question you know I always had the idea that you know once your sister locks grow long longer um each of the strands look uniform they look equally sized to like you know equal size because some of my locks I don't feel they're not even out as in size um so you know i asked her about that she explained to me you know everyone's hair is different you know palm twist the tension of palm twist versus interlocks more lighter um and as you grow longer the the bottom part begins to tighten up coil and tighten up and she even explained to me that my hair wasn't locked i was in awe i'm like what this whole time I thought my hair was locked and you know like all those two years <laughs> or almost three years of having sister locks and when I finally my when I finally think my hair is locked up it's not it's actually at the bushy stage apparently and she kind of misses this stage but um it's at the bushy stage and um it's something that just you go through so i was like wow i really thought my hair was locked and um i also learned that some people you know decipher this but that you know the whole b bunching towards the end of your locks that's that begins to like say it's like thin big hump of thickness and then thin i hope you guys know what i'm talking about here but like when you have like the big big things at the bottom some people think you should pull it and um you should pull it so that way you know you can keep every, all your locks even however others uh the which girl i met she said that you know i like it you know just leave it alone let your hair do its thing you know um let it grow let it grow and flow to where it wants to go <laughs> i'm being silly but um no, she, you know, she was saying, you know, let your hair grow, let it do its thing without trying to redo its everything. But with sister locks, there's so many rules and regulations. Like, you only use certain sister lock shampoo, um, follow the grid, get, your, get it done by a sister loctician. If you want to do it yourself, take a class first, pay the money, take a class, don't use any oils, don't use certain, don't use conditioner, don't no sorry don't use shampoo no no yeah don't use conditioner only shampoo things like that you know i broke the rules after six months after six months i broke my own rules i did tradition i did um a temporary dye after six months i started to do my own interlocking from there from nine months on then i went back to loctician to make sure my grid was in check because i we know i the girl needs to get in check but um you know at the end of the day it's your hair and it's your consequences of what you do to it or what you don't do to it like if you want to dye it dye it if you want to you know bleach it just know that if you dye it in the beginning stages when you're a baby uh your hair is a baby you have the risk of slippage you have the risk of it coming out you have the risk of breakage dryness all that good stuff so you want, might want to break the rules later on <laughs> in your journey after a year but at, but you know you just it just goes to show that you learn so much through um having sister locks it's it's like treating a baby like holding a baby and seeing it grow and every day it grows you see the transition of wow you were just a bit little baby now now look how will you how you turned out to be so you know when people ask me wow are those braids no they're my beautiful sister locks thank you so much like you know you get that the affirmation 
of people seeing your work, your product. You took the time to re retighten your hair, and now people are saying, oh, wow, look how beautiful. Even if it's not retightened, they say, oh, wow, look how beautiful. And he says, yes, thank you so much. Even in the baby stage, some people told me that I look like skinny little snakes. You know, it wasn't going to be anything. And I just smiled. I said, <laughs> Oh, thanks. Even though you, you know, you know, you don't know. You you just don't know. You don't know what is soon to come, and that's the beautiful blessing about it. People will laugh, say, "Oh, your hair is too thin." You know, it looks nothing. It's not thick. I can still see your scalp. Let them talk. Let them talk. Because watch you a year, six, even six months later, you'll be like, "Bam." Could be that Cardi B song, walking past the mirror. Woo, I'm fine. Let a girl know, <laughs> hammer time. So you don't be like, yes, I know, you see, but watch and learn. Watch and learn. That's the confidence you need to have when having sister locks because you gotta rock your hair, any style. Some people will say, no, your hair is not allowed here. All right, then I'm gone. Because I'm not cutting my hair, not cutting my locks, just to suit your needs of your eyes. Because you can't, you know, take my hair. But I'm rambling on. But at the end of the day, again, love your locks and you learn every day about your locks. Even people that are mature, they still learn about their locks, you know. You still learn about situations. I call, my, I call locks a lint brush because that's what it is. It collects lint. So you have to be careful what you wear what you lay on things like that because it will collect over time and then it will add up and add up and you'll start to see it and then you'll be like i did not dye my hair white be careful be careful so um just have it again i will be showing up on sister lock tv if you haven't seen it i will be there and i'll be advertising more about it but I hope you guys come and you watch um, me and along with a few other YouTubers as well. So I'm really excited. Um, again, I love your journey and be you. All right, guys. Bye.